Hello Blender fans, here's a video about some new sculpting features in the Blender 2.81 experimental build. You can get this from the Blender download page, scroll down to the Go Experimental and then download Blender 2.81 for your OS minus Windows. Ok, I started Blender, we are in sculpt mode, on the left side you can see the sculpting brushes, I'll come back to these in a moment, but first let's have a look at the new voxel remesher. I already demonstrated this feature in a previous tutorial. I set the voxel size to 0.007, quite high resolution, but now we have these new features here. Fix poles to produce a better topology flow and preserve volume that tries to preserve the details after the remesh. And as you can see, after remeshing we have a quite dense topology and a nice topology flow with quartz. Ok, now let's go ahead with this cube and the quite dense topology and check out the brushes, for example the scrape brush. When I use it on this mesh you can see that it is really fast, the performance increased tremendously and the behavior feels a bit like yeah, the trim dynamic of ZBrush for example, really great. I use this now to create stylized edges, I speed this up a bit before I switch to another brush, and this is the grab brush. We have a new default for the brush's fall off, and this is called smooth. And this has a high impact on the behavior of the grab brush. Let me change it, for example, to this setting, and then I use the grab brush to move this around, and you can see that we have these seams or overlappings. But when I change it to the default, to the smooth fall off, this feels a bit like a creamy grab brush. No artifacts while you are moving the topology around. A really great addition. Alright, what else do we have? Let's switch to the mask brush and paint in some mask circles to the mesh. I press F to reduce the size of the brush and then I paint this mask onto the mesh, just a few dots with different sizes. And after that I press Ctrl and I to invert the mask. And now I can use the new transform tools in sculpt mode, for example the move tool, and move these parts to the inside of the mesh or to the outside. But when I go to edit mode now you can see that the topology for these parts is really stretched, but that's not a problem, we can just remesh it in sculpt mode with the new voxel remesher. Then I press remesh and this takes a while, but I get some artifacts here in the topology. Well, that's an alpha version, but you can get rid of this. I played around with these two options, fix poles and preserve topology. I disabled these settings and after that I get a quite good remesh. Ok, now you can switch to a sculpt brush and then hold the shift key down to smooth out some parts of the mesh. And that looks pretty good. The next brush that I want to show you is the pose brush. It is experimental, but it's amazing and looks really promising. When you select it and then hover with the cursor over a part of your mesh, you can see that a kind of posing gizmo appears that indicates where to start the pose and which parts of the topology will be affected. I found out that you have to play around with the size of the brush and the distance, the view distance to your mesh to influence the parameters of the pose brush. Ok, another brush is the draw sharp brush. Basically it's a draw brush that is <laughs> sharper, yes. I like to set it to subtract and then it feels a bit like the ZBrush Damien standard. It 
It also feels great when you set the stroke to smooth, especially when you are using a drawing tablet. Sometimes I like to use the pinch brush to make these carved inlines thinner and more crisp. Alright, now I select the draw sharp again. Then I hold the control key pressed to switch from subtract to add. And with this you can sculpt in sharp lines to the mesh. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you is how to use the mask brushes in combination with the transform brushes. I mask this area with the box mask, then I invert the mask by pressing Ctrl and I. And then I can use, for example, the scale brush to scale these unmasked parts. And as you can see, you have to do this carefully. Then I remesh again and smooth out the artifacts. Oh, but I forgot one important feature and this is radial symmetry. I will use the mask brush to demonstrate this. You find it here in the panel of the brush, symmetry. You can increase the radial symmetry for the different axes. I use the x-axis now and here you can see we have six points. And when you start painting the mask onto the mesh, it looks like this. Of course, you can also hold the control key down to subtract from the mask and create very interesting looking shapes. The symmetry feature is available for the other sculpt brushes as well, not only for the mask brush. Okay, this is a nice shape. Now really the last feature. This is extracting from a mask. Now you can extract a mesh from a mask, perhaps you know this from ZBrush, and I also added this to my fast sculpt add-on, but now it is included in Blender as a default feature. So here we have it, the extracted mesh from the mask in object mode and when you switch to the modifiers tab, you can see that a solidify modifier is added to the mesh. And now you can go ahead and change the parameters of the modifier, for example the thickness. And once you're happy with it, you apply the modifier and here's the resulting topology. Alright, here you can see we have a small artifact, a vertex, that I can select and remove. Okay, this was simple. And if I want to continue sculpting with this new mesh, I can go to sculpt mode and then just remesh using the voxel remesher. I create a quite dense topology, it's a small mesh, so it won't take long to remesh it. And you can see this is real time, it's really fast. Then I tap into edit mode. And this is the resulting dense topology and now I can use any brush I like, for example here the scrape brush, even with radial symmetry activated, and continue sculpting the mesh. Okay guys, as I'm recording this video, I'm pretty sure that many new features are added again to Blender Sculpt mode because I know that Pablo Tabarro is working really hard on these and this will make sculpting with Blender so great in the end. I hope you liked this video and my channel. 
If you do, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, add these to the comments below and I see you in the next one.